uh, Your Excellency, the Governor of Nakuru County, Susan Kihika, the Governor of Bomet, uh, Honorable Barchok, my Cabinet colleagues who are here present, um, our Attorney General and my former immediate boss, J.B. Muturi, um, members of Parliament, uh, both the Senate and National Assembly, uh, members of County Assembly, uh, Principal Secretaries, and all protocol observed, the Kenyan way. Um, Loma Asayanda Soba, Mesis Yolaitoriani, the clergy, Nawatambua, bishops wote, ambao wametoka sehemu mbalimbali, uh, Naro County, Kajiado, Samburu, Baringo, na hata Nairobi. Nawatambua sana. Um, Your Excellency, I want to uh, say that I am thankful to everyone here today for honoring this tiny remote village where I was born and bred. I am greatly honored by your presence and I am delighted from the bottom of my heart. I am grateful to God, the giver of life and opportunity. He has been my stronghold, my fortress, my guide, and my source of strength. All that I have done has only been possible through God. Only God can take a, a girl like me from this small, remote village of Leshuta and give her a voice and a crown. And my prayer today is that my story will be a source of inspiration for many others. My heartfelt gratitude goes to you, Mr. President, for allowing God to work through you, to believe in me and appoint me to serve in your cabinet. By that one single decision, you have changed the course of history for the Ma community. You granted me the opportunity to become the first ever Ma woman to be appointed as cabinet secretary 60 years um, since the independence of our republic. That there, Your Excellency, is history. And indeed, as the bishop said, I am the first Ma woman cabinet secretary the globe over. Thank you for believing that the Ma woman deserves a seat at the high table and as a result, inspiring her to recognize that where you come from should not be an impediment to becoming who you could be. Indeed, who knows, like little Rachel says here, the young poet who just left the stage, she could actually be next. And now, she really believes that it is possible. The possibilities have been made real for the Ma, and indeed other minorities and marginalized groups in this country. Your Excellency, your government is the proverbial glass ceiling breaker for the Ma community and indeed other marginalized groups in this nation. I am forever indebted to my wonderful parents. Thank you, mom and dad, for all the sacrifices you have made for my siblings and myself. You believed in me and spared no efforts to ensure that I got quality education. Thank you for your encouragement and prayers and for your lessons in perseverance and character. You have taught me integrity and truthfulness. You have trained me up in the ways of the Lord, and for that I will forever be grateful. 
to the Ma community, and indeed, the whole community of Narok. I am because you gave me a chance. I was the first woman representative for this county, and for ten, two consecutive terms, you gave me the chance to serve you. And I believe that was an opportunity for me to step on your shoulders and for my potential to be recognized. Oloshalang lebabo yeyo, kaja sholing, ore nati na ironi linya itashe ye te yado duagi te loshole Kenya. Na kajo be ma yani tayen kayo leng, kayo lajeri sambure ne etil chamus etil masai ngwa kajado ole narok. Ore mbendera na nabita ne ninyi.